I noticed actually a big difference between me recording 100 episodes back in 22, 2022 and me recording these daily episodes right now. And I think there is a lesson in it for all of us. So let me share my experience. Back in 2022, if you don't know about it, I was doing a Life with Lisa 100 challenge when in the last 100 days of 2022, I decided to end the, air with, uh, the, end the year with a bang and record 100 episodes in 100 days. And it felt way heavier and more difficult than it is to do it now. And there are a few reasons why. And I think the lessons behind these three reasons would be so useful for all of us. So the first thing is, that I did not make it easy for myself to work very hard. And that's the quote that comes from Hormozy when he says, you need to make it extremely easy for yourself to work extremely hard. And what he meant by that quote is setting up the conditions, for example, in my case, in terms of recording the podcast, having already the setup ready, having the editing uh, things already in place so that it's super easy for you to show up every day and have that one episode a day published. You don't need to think about the setup every day. You don't need to think about specific different type of editing that you'll do. It's already there. It's already figured out. You just need to show up and you make it very easy for yourself. So that's something that I've done this time. I have the same setup, super easy. I also relaxed some editing rules for myself so that it's even easier for me to create an episode a day. And then the second part, which I realized was that I also let go of this perfectionist mindset because the perfectionist mindset is actually something that's have it, keeping us so limited and almost like on edge because I realized that back in the days in 2022, I would think like, oh no, the three minute episode is too short. It's not good enough. The lighting is not good enough. I did not do that. I could have prepared better. And it just like starts kind of like paralyzing you into almost some kind of inaction or resistance and you really don't like it. Whereas when you completely let go of it and say, I will just show up every day and do my best, then it becomes so, so much easier. And then the third part that of the difference that I noticed was that I've made recording a podcast episode in a day something that is non-negotiable and something that will be just happening for this time for a year or for more, even more for more than a year. And that has helped me to fight that resistant in, resistance in my mind when you have it just before recording an episode, when you're thinking like, oh, I don't really want to be doing it. Why did I do, why did I decide to challenge myself like that? Should I be doing it? Should I do it now? Should I do it later? Uh, and so much resistance. Probably you have experience in your own life also with like working out or finally getting to work on the, the, the project that you you were meant to be doing and you feel this resistance because your mind feels like it has a choice. It has a choice to do it or not to do it. And the moment you make it not negotiable and you say, we're going to be doing it, you don't have to. And you're saying to your mind, you didn't have to show me this resistance. <laughs> and then the mind is like, okay, fine. If you're saying that it's going to happen regardless, then it lets go of that resistance. And you can just actually use that energy that you were using in term, having that conversation and having that fight in your mind. You can put that energy into actually doing the work. In my case, recording the episode, editing, publishing, etc. And it was so such a relief actually to have these three things and I just realized them and I thought that it's very applicable for all of us in many areas of our lives something like working out or keeping up with our good habits or delivering things at work we all have those things right we all have the perfectionist mind that could be stopping us we all have this resistance sometimes to start doing something because like should we do it now should we do it later should we not do it and we also sometimes we don't make it easy for ourselves to work very hard. So we don't make it easier for ourselves, for example, to do the workouts because we, we, we don't really, sh we're not really sure, for example, what would be the program of the day or where will we do the workout? What time will we do the workout? And once you make it easy 
for yourself i work out this this and this day this is the place and this is the time and this is what i'm gonna do and you have that planned it becomes super easy for you to act not super easy to have to show up and do the workout but way easier and that's something that i've done back in 2021 when i was doing another challenge of mine when i was doing 265 workouts in a year as you can see i love challenges but i hope this episode really helps you to stick to whatever action you want to be taken on a continuous basis by making it easy enjoyable and resistance free to the best extent that we possibly can. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next episode.